Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Philip Bowen, and I hope you're having a great day today. Whatever day it is for you, whatever time it is for you, hope things are going well. So today, today we are going to talk about improvising on the fiddle, and improvising starting with some kind of simpler, um, more well-known fiddle tunes. So today the focus is going to be one of the first fiddle tunes I ever learned in this world, and it's called Cripple Creek. Cripple Creek. And you may kind of recognize that tune that, you know, so if you've been around bluegrass or folk music at all, you may have heard that song before. That's, that's Cripple Creek. It's, it's a very a common song for fiddlers. It's most common probably in the key of A major. For banjo players, you'll probably hear it a lot, or guitar players in the key of G major. Today we're gonna to talk about the key of A major, which for violin or fiddle players, if you've done Suzuki, that's the first key you ever learn how to play in uh, is A major. For fiddle players, uh, it's a very accessible, easy key. I always, I always think that uh, the best, the best and most fun and easiest keys to play the fiddle in are A major, D major, G major. Um, the sharps are our friend. The double stops are really fun and easy. So, um, this song happens to uh, comply with that. This is an A major. It's a great fiddle key. Um, it's a really fun and catchy tune. And so today I'm going to play for you the basic melody and then we'll kind of do like a couple of different levels of improvisation and hopefully by that I can kind of show you how I do my thing and improvise and enhance and kind of just try to let myself flourish when I'm playing um, a fiddle tune or any tune for that matter. And we're gonna be using um, a backing track today from Bluegrass Backing Tracks. I just kind of found them on YouTube the other day and they're great. They have some great, great fiddle back backing tracks um, or you can even pick away if you play another instrument. So I'll make sure I tag them in the description below uh, so you can go check their channel out. Um, BBT, if you guys see this, I love your stuff. Keep doing what you're doing, it's very helpful. So we're gonna use their backing tracks today as we talk through some of this stuff. Um, so what I'd like to do for you first is kind of talk about the simple melody that is Cripple Creek. It's a simple melody. Um, if you need to go out there and find sheet music somewhere to help you learn it and play along, that's great. Um, when I play along and improvise, we're going to do it a little bit faster at about 130 BPM. So that's pretty fast for a fiddle track. Um, but I'm going to play it for you slowly first so you can kind of get an idea of the melody. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to kind of strip this down. This is the basic fundamental melody for Cripple Creek in A major, okay? Uh, I'm gonna start with uh, a high A or a three on the A string, um, and I usually do like a little lead in like this. You can do just an E and A double stop together. <laughs> Sounds even better if you can do like a, a C sharp and an E together or a two on the A and an open E string together. You'll hear that a lot in fiddle music. So um, let's slow it down a little bit and I'll, I'll play through the basic melody with you so we can kind of get that stuck in our heads. It goes like this. That's just a quick little taste. That's the basic melody of Cripple Creek, okay? Now, here's what the basic melody sounds like at speed. And then I will walk you through kind of some ideas to how we can improvise on this. And I hope this is helpful for you. Uh, this is my first one of this kind of series. So I'm sure we'll get better as we go along. And I hope this is helpful to you or gives you some insight into how to improvise. But before we improvise some different parts, I'm going to just play... Um, a couple rounds uh, with a basic melody and then I'll kind of layer in some new stuff and add in and show you how we do that. Okay, so here's the backing track, Cripple Creek. Um, we'll try it like, here we go.
hear that? That's just like the basic melody. Basic melody. Dun, 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 dun. All right, now I'm going to turn my reverb on a little bit so you can hear this a little bit more clearly. So uh, a couple of things that we can do, and you're going to hear a little echo now. That's the reverb on my little mixing board. So a couple of things that we can do is to kind of, one, enhance the melody with double stops. Okay, so um, let's talk through a few of these ideas to just enhance the basic melody. So one of the easiest and quickest ways is to realize that some of these open strings are your friend, okay? So for example, even on the opening note, just like this, I can add in a couple easy double straps with open strings. So I'm playing a, you hear that, like those double stops? Now the great thing about the key of A major is that the double stops are so accessible. They're so accessible and you get a lot of freebies with an open A or an open E string. So as you kind of go along with that melody, you listen here, I'll just play some open string double stops and you'll see how it can kind of enhance what's already going on, like this. just like that so that'll like that is a freebie for you and that those if you can get good at that and get it just working in some of the open string double stops and those are very accessible in the key of a major in the key of d major um, those are two of the best keys for finding some of those free open string double stops and they can really help you even if you do nothing different with the melody. No extra enhancements at all. Just adding those double stops can really kind of make it sound a little bit fancier and um, good as you go along. All right, so that's, that's uh, tip one is these open string double stops, okay? Number two, number two, let's talk about filling in the gaps in between some of the basic melody lines. And so what I'm talking about is kind of adding more notes to the measure or leading from one note to the next. Um, a really simple way to do that is to do like a short little scale or a half scale going into a note. So if the first note is an A, then we can add a few notes before that, just a basic scale up to it. So. We take that little second half of the scale and we can start like that. So we can even work it down. And that's something that you can practice on any string. A123, D123. Right, that's an easy way to do it. Work in the scales that you already know. So this song is in the key of A major. Um, so you can look at that on the circle of fifths. You know your scale. And if you want to get even more comfortable with it, do an A major scale before you try the song. And then, okay, those are all these, like the notes within the scale I can play um, to find some easy lead-ins. Okay, another way, another way to enhance and lead into a song excuse me, or lead into a note, is through these little trill notes where we go like this. You know. You can add the note before it or the note right after it and trill back and forth. Things like that, right? And that comes across like this. So there I'm using two things. I'm using the open string double stop. And I'm using that little trill. <laughs> um, and then we also can do some things like slide ins and some more advanced things. But really quickly, let's hear how it sounds. We'll do the melody at speed, 130 BPM. 
and we'll add in some open string double stops and we'll add some trills in between notes and we'll add those little scale moves up you know a one two three three two one a d one two three three two one all that stuff we'll add those in and we'll see if we can like make this a little bit fancier so now let's try it with like level one or round one of enhancements okay let's see how that makes this, the tune change and see how that makes that a little bit more uh pleasurable to the ear let's go I know I probably added some, <laughs> some extra flourishes in there too, but that's another way to do it. So let's talk about one more level of enhancement um, while we're here, while we're here. Um, so we kind of have this melody here. I'll try to explain it the best that I can, but we have this, you know. So sometimes what we can do is instead of landing on the, to the tonic or like the home note, which is A, we can end on a note that harmonizes with it or that is uh works in harmony with that so instead of an a i can land on another note in the key uh like let's try c sharp so for example so instead of hitting the tonic both times after the first round, I land on that C sharp. It kind of tells me that there's more going on. It doesn't sound finished, right? Uh, okay, and that's a great little tool. You can do that. So like, for example, most fiddle parts have an A part and a B part. And so a lot of times in fiddle music or bluegrass music, you play the A part twice, the B part twice, and whatever structure that you decide on. So there's some great opportunities there if you decide to play, if the structure is like Cripple Creek, A, A, B, B, well, the first time you end the phrase, you can end it on a different note beyond the tonic or besides the tonic. Pick any note besides that A that still fits within the scale and that makes for some really interesting stuff that you can do as you kind of play along. It even works on the second part, you know, that... Uh and the second time we land back on the tonic. But the first time we landed on that C sharp again and we added in that open string double stop. So it sounds really fancy, it sounds kind of involved. Um, that's another really great trick. Okay, let's talk about one more, one more little trick, and this is more true improvisation. And um, I've seen a lot of people do videos on this, and some people just say, you know, I don't know how I improvise. It just kind of happens. And the, the answer is, at least for me, the better that you know the music and the better you know your scales, the better your theory, the more possibilities open up. And you kind of just feel the, you kind of feel in the music, you want to add to the music, all that kind of stuff. We'll do another video specific to stuff like counter melodies and stuff like that that's a little more advanced. But um, for example, I can fill in the gaps in some other ways. So let me slow it down like this and I'll try to show you what I'm talking about. So here's the basic melody, right? So let me add some more stuff to it like this. So I kind of got some funky notes in there, some jazz stank in it, you know what I mean? Um, some flats and things like that where I can kind of realm outside of the key and come back in. That kind of like, those kind of sounds where I'm kind of like where an electric guitarist would bend the strings. That's all we're doing. We're kind of bending those notes and coming back in. And we're kind of adding some of that like funky stuff, you know, like... So, really, what we're trying to do there is slide in 
Just like we're sliding into home base if you're a baseball player. We're sliding into those double stops. So that's one thing that you can try. You know, if the double stop is a C sharp with an E, then we can start on a C natural and slide into it. You know, B flat to B. You know, all those different kind of things. And then we can even do it if we have two notes, like you You'll hear that a ton in fiddle music. And so that is another technique you can practice where you're sliding in, sliding in, sliding in. All right? So um, I know that we've covered a lot of information in this 15 minutes or so that we've been talking. And I don't know how much of this you're watching or if this is helpful to you or if it's way over your head. Um, you can kind of go back to that first part. Try some things simple first. That's my best advice. Have fun with it. Have fun with it. Try to make it your own. You're not necessarily always needing to copy what I do or what you hear somebody else do. There's some good ideas there, but there are other ways you can make it your own. And so beyond just the notes, we can also kind of change up the rhythm, do some different rhythmic things within that. So um, let me try one for you. I'm just going to kind of close my eyes and improvise. That rhymes. Close my eyes and improvise. Let me try one for you off the dome. This is about two minutes long, I think. And I'll try to just like let it go. I'll, I'll do like one verse where I do like some embellishments and then I'll do the second round where I'll do like a ton of embellishments and you can kind of hear how it changes the song. And uh, for better or worse, you can let me know what you think. All right, so let's try Cripple, Cripple Creek, uh, A major, 130 BPM with a lot of embellishments. Let's see how we do here. Count me in, baby, let's go. Let's go. a little sloppy sometimes but you can have so much fun with it and that's fast that's 130 bpm that is definitely fast um and maybe i'll do one next time with like a little bit slower for you guys like we'll start at like 100 bpm or something like that um but 130 bpm is a nice nice clip nice speed so Anyways, I hope this has been helpful for you. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do uh, videos that are a little bit longer where I talk about improvising and stuff like that. Let me go ahead and turn this reverb off here. And uh, just in closing, I just want to encourage you to keep playing. Keep playing. If you're a fiddle player, banjo player, guitar player, whatever, um, I think some of those tips can still apply to you even if you don't play the fiddle. Um, it's all about kind of feeling the music around you, having fun with it, letting go, and also understanding your theory, understanding the scales that are involved. Um, let's see. Uh, I think what we'll do next is I'll just like let you know, hey, if you have something that you really, really want me to play or do a tutorial on, there's a couple different ways you can get that to me. One is, of course, feel free to just drop it in the comments below. I will have all my links pinned in the description. So we have a Discord server. It's about 700 people as of this video. 
Um, it's a great community. We have a song request channel. We have a book club, cooking channel, coffee club, all that kind of stuff. It's a great place to just kind of come and hang out and uh, get updates on my music and stuff like that at the same time. So if you're a Discord user, you definitely want to come join that. It's super fun. Come find me on Instagram, TikTok. Uh, it's a really good time, I promise. That's another way, a great, great way to kind of check out how I do what I do. And you can see kind of the music that I'm putting together. And then um, I hope you'll listen to my newest song as of this video, my newest song, Stella, uh, which comes out on January 21st. If you're watching this later, it came out back on January 21st. It's called Stella, and you can listen to it on anywhere you stream music. I'm so excited to share it with you, and I think that you'll really enjoy it. So come check out my latest release. I promise you'll like it. Um, keep following me. Feel free to subscribe for more fiddle tips. I promise I'll have lots and lots more as we go along and I'll keep posting the full versions of my stuff. Okay. So anyways, thanks for joining this little tutorial. Uh, be well, stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for joining me on this amazing journey and uh, make sure you subscribe so you can hear more and I'll talk to you very soon. Okay. You guys have a great one. Keep playing, keep working at it, keep building, have a good time above all else and I'll see you on the flip. All right. See you guys. Bye-bye.